Now, we are in the first topic, matter in nature. The matter is any substance that has mass, and takes up space, by having volume. All the living things, and non-living things which have mass, and occupy space are considered as, matter. Those do not have mass, and do not occupy space, are non-matter. Such as light, sound, shadow, heat, temperature, and time. Now, we talk about the properties of matter. All the matter in the universe, has its own physical properties, and chemical properties. The physical property of a matter is any characteristic that can be determined. Without changing the substance's chemical identity or nature. Such as, color, density, volume, mass. Boiling point, the temperature at which, a substance boils. Melting point, the temperature at which a substance melts. The chemical properties of a matter are, any characteristic that can be determined only. By changing the matter's molecular structure, via chemical reaction. Such as, flammability, and chemical stability. Now, we will talk about material classification, by different characteristics. Every material that used to make the thing in our surrounding, is made up of matter. The physical properties of a thing, are depending on the type of material it is made of. Understand the physical properties of the material, help us to use it accordingly. The four physical properties of a material, that can be used for material classification are Density Melting point Boiling point And solubility We will focus on these four physical properties of matter, in the following po. We first talk about the density of the matter. The density of a material, is defined as the quantity of matter, contained in a unit of its volume. A density of a material, can be measured by divided its weight with its volume. Example, material A, has the weight of 90 g, and volume of 9 cubic centimeter. The density of material A can be calculated as, 90 gram divided with, 9 cubic centimeter which is equal to, 10 gram per cubic centimeter. It is mean that, 1 cubic centimeter of volume material A, contain 10 gram of its weight. For the next, about the melting point, and boiling point of the matter. Matter can be transformed from one state to another, by changing its temperature, or pressure. The melting point of a material is the temperature at which the material transforms from solid at atmospheric pressure. For example, the ice, it is the solid state of water, its melting point is 0 degree Celsius. It means that at 0 degree Celsius the ice start to melt to be water, at atmospheric pressure. The boiling point of a material is the temperature, at which, the material transforms from liquid to gas at atmospheric pressure. For example, the water boiling point is, 100 degree Celsius. It means that, at 100 degree Celsius, the water start become vapor at atmospheric pressure. The material can be classified by knowing its melting, and boiling point. Because every material has its own fixed melting point, and its own boiling point at atmospheric pressure. For example, the substance, which have, 0 degree Celsius melting point and 100 degree Celsius boiling point it must be water. The material, which has melting point 1538 degree Celsius and boiling point 2862 degree Celsius. It must be the iron. This is about the solubility of materials. The ability of a material to dissolve in a given amount of solvent to form a solution is called solubility. Here, we may say the material is solute. The solute can be in any state of matter, which is either in gas, liquid, or solid state. And the solvent is, always in liquid form. For example, when salt is added, and stirred in a water, the solid salt will disappear after a short while, because, it dissolved into the water. In the above example, salt is the solute, 
water solvent. Solute dissolve in the solvent to form a solution which is a salt water. In the process of a solute to dissolve into the solvent, the solute particles spread through the solvent by moving into the space in between the solvent particles. The solubility of a solute in a solvent is influenced by the physical and chemical properties of both solute and solvent. Different material has different solubility in a different solution. Therefore, the material can be classified according to their solubility. For example, oil can dissolve in alcohol, but cannot dissolve in water. Salt cannot dissolve in alcohol but can dissolve in water. By knowing the solubility of oil and salt in the water and alcohol, we may do the classification for these two substances. We have completed the topic 1, Matter in Nature. Let's proceed to the topic 2.